Cam Newell hit a walk-off grand slam last night to beat the Chinooks in the bottom of the ninth, and the Miners bats have really been explosive since the losing streak. Head coach Ben Taylor talked about this as well as his pitching staff on this week's episode of Taylor's Take. Coach, such a great win last night, a walk-off grand slam for Cam Newell. Second time that your team is hit a walk-off grand slam. How fun is it coaching these guys? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you never know who's going to be the hero or the star of the night, uh, who's going to step up, who's going to make a big play. Uh, it's a luxury of having so many quality players and so many quality people that, you know, any one of them can be the guy that wins us a ball game. Now you, we've also seen you, we've talked about this before, a lot of different lineups going out there. Has that just gotten any more difficult? Because it seems like right now in the last three games, your team, nobody has really been to something. Like everybody they send to the plate is just on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a matter of trying to keep guys fresh, too, for the stretch. Um, one guy I was really proud of, Brandon Smith, last night. Had two really, really good at-bats, especially the at-bat, you know, everybody will talk about when he singled in the ninth. But I think his at-bat previous to that, he battled. He had two strikes on him. He won some pitches, hit a hard ball up the middle, you know, ran a good 90. You know, and Smitty's been working on some things, and he's coming out early every day. And so I'm really proud to see that. I mean, every one of these guys works hard, you know, and they're all earning their playing time, and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Now with the All-Star game coming up, a lot of guys that really could make that team, it's really just the three teams that make up the one team. Yeah. So you, your, your team certainly has a chance to send a lot of guys to that game. Yeah, you know, there's still a lot of time before that All-Star game. I'm looking at the schedule as, you know, over to my right. But I don't know. I mean, that's not, we're not even, we're not even, that's not even a factor right now. I mean, the thing is, too, is these guys at bat totals are, are still so low in the greater scheme of things that, you know, a five-hit night can jump you up a bunch of points and an 0 for 4 can drop you down a bunch of points. So there's going to be some guys that may surprise and sneak into the All-Star game, and, you know, it is what it is. You know, another another guy we've talked about is Cameron Frost. He was in a little bit of a slump, but now he seems to be working his way back, hit the ball very well last night, and, of course, a great catch the other night. Yeah. How, how important has he been to your team? I mean, he's played almost every inning of every game for us, and he's never asked for a day off. I've probably played him some nights when he's been tired. Probably should have given him the day off, but he's a tough kid. Um, he's a real glue type player for this team, and he's a real spark. I mean, I'm really lucky to have him. And Josh Meyer seems to be that almost everyday guy from now on behind the plate, and it seems yeah. like he's good defensively. He's good at every part of the ball. Yeah, you know, Josh has really stepped up his game. I think a lot of it is he really believes in himself of how good of a player he could be. I mean, the problem with catching, though, man, is you're always one foul tip away from being on a plane and going home. So, you know, you got to, you know, Mitchell does a good job, and, and we're blessed to have two really good ones. And, you know, and if if Decker got thrown into the fire, he'd be great, too. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a conundrum for me. I mean, I'm trying to ride the hot hand, but, you know, Josh is a really good player. And also Terrence Conley's kind of come out along with Nick Blazer, a couple of new infielders that played it a little bit more. And putting them in the, in the lineup. Conley forced my hand. I mean, I probably should have played him. I've said this, you know, in post games. I probably should have played him more than I have. Uh, he's a veteran guy. Seems like every time we play him, we win, and he has something to do with it. And it might not be something flashy, but like last night, he'll draw a walk. You know, he scored the tying run last night, I believe. Um, drew a walk. The night before, he had the uh, he had sacrifice bunt and a sack fly in our win. Plays good defense at third base. Been around. I mean, Terrence is a really good baseball player. And Nick Blazer, we've seen him at second base. Just kind of a goofy kid, you know. We've seen him in batting practice. Yeah. And always just having a good time. He's the rat. That's what I call him. He's the rat. He's a little guy that plays with a chip on his shoulder, and I love it. You know, he kind of toes that line. Um, Brings a little bit of grit to our team. Um, brings some toughness. You know, it, he's, he's tough and he's good for us. Nikki brings a lot to our club. And then on the other side of the ball with the pitching, Steffi Romo with the spot start the other day. Seen him also take some balls and batting practice. So what kind of player are you seeing from Sevi? You know, Sevi's Romo? a two-way guy. I mean, I, he hasn't got the at-bats that he's wanted. He's done a nice job on the mound for us. Doesn't complain. Battles. Um... He's probably going to get another start or two somewhere down the line here coming up. Um, 
we got to kind of figure out who's going to come in and start games behind Stubblefield. So, you know, Sebi's done a nice job. So is Stubblefield kind of your number one go-to guy? Oh, he's not kind of number one. He's not kind of. He is. I mean, he's the guy. I mean, he's a big game pitcher, and he's the one. And you said in post-game, you know, July, this is the month that really counts. You really see yeah. what your team is made of. What have you seen so far? We're tough. We're tough, and we don't like to lose, and we don't like to play poorly. And they were kind of doing that, and they were kind of struggling, and they were they got sick and tired of not playing very well. And some guys made sure that that's not going to happen anymore, and I like that. And, you know, kind of looking ahead, you know, only a few more weeks here until top of the World Series, kind of a close race with the Pilots. What are you looking for out of this team in the final stretch? We just got to play to win every night, and the rest takes care of itself. We can't control what anybody else does. All we can do is take care of what we can take care of, you know, and uh, and win the ball games we're supposed to win. All right, with the starting pitching, seems to be struggling a little bit. Some guys have been good. Some guys have had a little bit uh, some off starts, but the spot starts seem those guys seem to really come in and do the job. Yeah, and we're looking, you know, Hendricks last night. I mean. He goes seven innings, punches out seven guys, one run, two hits. I mean, that's the kind of stuff. I mean, the guy was like a 17th rounder. He was 90 to 94 last night with the curveball at 77 to 80. I mean, he's got a plus fastball, plus breaking ball. I mean, a guy like that can kind of harness it. And, you know, I think Kyle's going to take a big step forward. Serrano's going to take a big step forward for us. I mean, we've got guys with unbelievable stuff. It's just a matter of them believing in their stuff and, you know, step up and, and help us win a ball game. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.